Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. We're back in the Dragon's Den or Team Saturn's hideout. One or the other, it doesn't really matter at this point. We're just somewhere. We're honestly somewhere. We're in a cave. That's about it. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So, last episode, we took on a whole bunch of Team Saturn, uh, Team Sa Saturn members, and today we're gonna take on a whole bunch of Team Saturn members, and it's gonna be great. You think you can take on Team Saturn? Uh, don't make me laugh. A punk like you don't stand chance. You don't stand chance. Not a chance in the world. But I do stand a chance. Especially considering that you're probably about to send out three Merrells. That's a yikes from me. Rain dance. What do you think you're gonna do with rain? Well, I mean, it does increase the power of water, water moves, but... Its utility is questionable after that. You're not even okay. Okay, so you use Rain Dance to increase the damage of Water Moves, and then you use a move like Double Edge, which is a normal move and doesn't get increased damage. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Not to mention, it's doing like no damage. Let's go, Scrambles. You're tanking it. Yes. Yes, we love Hyper Potions here. It's all good. But just have to keep pressing swift, honestly. It'll it'll get the job done eventually. Chin Chow. Oh, well, aren't you just adorable? You tiny little manta ray thing. Well, it's not a manta ray, it's... I don't know what to consider it, but... It's like a little light fish before it becomes... Terrifying. Come on, you can last one more hit, right? You can't last one more hit. Okay, well, I've made mistakes. I have thusly made mistakes in my life, but I can atone. I can fix them. Why not? Why not indeed? Why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. You just dropped another Destiny button. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna let me go without without taking my for my Pokemon. 
he was basically a sore loser, essentially. The man was literally like, Disney not, or Disney Bond, Disney Bond, and I was just like, well, oh, well. I'll just revive my Pokemon in the end. You're just denying me of like useful EXP and it's kind of annoying, but it's not hard to manage. And there we go. We're back to full strength. With the exception to some of my Pokemon's moves being almost empty. just want to know how long until I get to the end of this cave. What is this? It's just a random pedestal that's here for no reason. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, you're not gonna look down? I was honestly expecting him to, like, do that thing that they do whenever you walk past them and just, like, like really quickly react to you be right next to them and just look instantly down but no he just like eh. okay now it's my time to shine well it could have not been your time to shine <laughs> being honest here i could have just walked away but i gave you a chance i gave you a shot show me your medal And this is very unfortunate because I can't pull out, I can't pull out Scrambles because Scrambles is a flying type and most of the Pokemon that I keep fighting happen to be electric types. This is very unfortunate. Oh, let's go Stroganoff. Let's go. You're just out here doing work, that's what you're doing. Meanwhile, this Pikachu's trying to increase his eBay. That's not okay. It's not okay at all. You know what we do to people who increase their eBay? We take them out before the eBay can get any higher. <clears throat> That's right. No, I don't want to change Pokemon. I just want to completely take out this Chin Chow without losing another Pokemon to it. To another one. No, thank you. Effect Spore. Let's go. I just want to know what's at the end of this cave. Am I actually going to run into, like, Team Saturn? And am I actually going to have problems with, like more legendary Pokemon or is it just gonna be is it just gonna be some random thing <sighs> I don't want a random encounter that's for sure I can tell you that much get out of here graveler out of here oh it's a Machoke what is this sprite? He looks like he's gonna kill me. Just like, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. It's a really creepy smile. Okay. Whatever's down that hole, I have a feeling it's the end of this cave. Whatever's down in that hole is the end of the cave. First, our boss makes us guard a few rocks, and now I find a kid down here? What is going on in this place? Guard a few rocks. Are we talking about the Reggies, then? I don't, I don't think we're talking about the Reggies, but... I don't know. We could very well be talking about the Reggies. Hmm. 
He just wastes your whole entire Magnemite because you decided to use Lock On twice. And then you use a Hyper Potion. So, thusly, we reset the cycle. Okay. That's cool. Voltorb, no thank you. We're gonna keep this Pokemon out real quick and then we're gonna swap out. Interesting. Very interesting strategy. You didn't even give yourself a chance. You didn't even give yourself a chance to win the battle before you self-destructed. You just instantly, like, pulled out a Pokemon and told it to self-destruct. That's disgusting. What a waste of a Pokemon life. Nah, that won't do damage. You could try, but it won't do damage. Not to Stroganoff at least. Stroganoff is way too tough for that. Let's go. I think I'm going crazy. I can feel that. I feel that, honestly. Welcome to hell. I'm going to send you back to the playground, kid. Intimidation facts. This man trying to straight up terrify me, but it's actually kind of not working, honestly. Because if I know anything, <laughs> if I know anything about these Team Saturn members, is that they all have electric types and they all suffer to one fatal weakness: Stroganoff. <laughs> Man, I look back on it every single time. Like, I look back on, like, episode... I think it was episode 9. All the time when I freaking caught Stroganoff. And I'm just like, man, that was the best decision I made this whole entire series. Oh, whoopsie. I didn't mean to drop another leaf seed. It honestly was the best decision I made in the whole entire series because he just sweeps everything, he occasionally causes status effects, and he doesn't die. He just doesn't die. Light screen? You think light screen is gonna defend you against Stroganov? Stroganov is a physical freak, my guy. I respect the hustle, but no. <laughs> but no. Stroking off is paralyzed, it can't move. Yeah, thank you. You, you literally use light screen just to. Just to self destruct. Just to self destruct. What programming in these games? I am so confused. I question everything and none of it makes sense. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? The whole meticulous process of everything and you just self-destruct. Oh, you have four Pokemon. Huh. And the final one is an Ampharos. Interesting. You got lucky that I'm paralyzed. That's all I'm saying. You got lucky that I'm paralyzed. Otherwise, this Ampharos would be Ampharos would be fainted by now.
Maybe. Maybe it would, maybe it won't, wouldn't. I, I don't know, honestly, at this point. All I know is that Stroganoff is just, just, just surviving. Where would you drop a cotton spores? You already got my, my, my speed is already slower than yours, like. What's the point? You don't need to decrease my speed anymore because Mach Punch is just a priority move. Oh, nice. <laughs> we poisoned him. <laughs> right at the end. Right when it wasn't gonna do anything. That's great. Wow, you're incredibly strong! Thanks. I guess? Okay, another one. Another one. Here we go! Now we're in an icy cave. Um, okay, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. And subscribe to the channel if you are. I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Bye bye.